Hi, this is Brian from Military Mobility. We're gonna do a walkthrough of our Host Mammoth truck camper. This is a 2015, we picked it up this summer out in Long Island, New York. It was in great condition. Without further ado, uh, first I'll, sh I'll show you some of the stuff that we knew nothing about truck campers that we had to get before we were setting this up. So first thing you need is frame tie-ins. Torque lift is like the only game in town for this stuff. So these are the frame tie-ins that you get. The bolt-on is relatively simple. These things all add up to a lot of money, as I'm sure people who own truck campers know. So the, this part that sticks out right here is removable, right here with, these, with the pins, so you can keep it inside your cab if you're not using it, so you're not constantly kicking your legs or, or banging stuff on there. So you got your frame tie-ins, the front, and then you have the rear as well right here, and they are brand specific. There might be, I think, a few that are universal, but uh, brand specific and Torque Lift will help you out with that. The next thing you need also from Torque Lift is, they're called Fast Guns, and this is what secures the, the camper on. It's right there. And then just firm enough to lock in place. The, the truck camper wants to have a little bit of sway back and forth. You don't want those things terribly tight. And then coming around to the rear, we use the, we tow an enclosed trailer as well. So this is uh, also from, from Torque Lift. It's their, their Canon 36 inch uh, hitch extension. So the hitch extension, you want it to go and measure right to the rear of whatever your overhang is. So 36 inches for us, and then as you add your extension, you'll get a couple more inches as well. We have a seven and a half foot enclosed trailer. It works really well. We're able to make some nice tight turns with it. So that the hitch extension comes with the side chains and the anchor points as well. And that what that does is help with the side to side movement. And then you'll also need a, a wiring extension. This one we got uh, manufactured at a local RV company. They helped us out. Uh, there's also two to one wires if you are gonna be commonly towing an enclosed trailer as well as plugging in your, your truck camper. We want the versatility to be able to do one or the other. So for the truck camper, we have it plugged into the bumper and then our extension, which we got you know, uh, you know, we wanted to make sure it was long enough. We have that plugged into the, the bed. We also have a, a seven pin as well in our, our bed. So um, get back to the, the camper itself, you know, but that's a lot. I wanted to mention the logistics that you need for it. Here we have the uh, LP. Uh, what's nice about this is, so we have two tanks back here. They're, they're two 30 pound tanks and th this valve will enable both of them to, to run together, or you can do it independently if you want to use it as a reserve to know when you hit that halfway point. And there's also a, a valve here if you want to cook for an outside stove, one of the, you know, the Coleman grills, or what have you, you can hook that up. And we do have an outside kitchen as well. So this part, I absolutely love. Huge garage storage. Just massive, right? So we used to have a bunch of crap in here right now. We haven't really settled into our what our exact routine is going to be. We happen to have an extra propane tank in case we need it. Uh, backup generator. The generator on the, the, the host mammoth runs off propane. So we have a Honda 2200 off gas if we need it. We got a couple tables. This is Coleman's really cool outdoor kitchen. Great, uh, we got a dry erase board here. Here's our 30 amp for if we go to a hookup at a uh, RV camping spot. External light for doing any type of work. Some rags, cold weather MREs, of course we need them. So the hose for the Rhino, something I wanted to mention about this. This is for your, your dump hoses. If we step over here, 
Uh, it's pretty cool. It has a, they have an external storage compartment for the, for the sewer hose, but with these attachments for the Rhino, it won't go in. It's too thick. It's just the diameter of the hose itself. So not the end of the world. What, what we plan, if you uh, get a shot underneath, all this is, is a plastic cap and it, it just goes to this PVC pipe that has some drain holes in the bottom. So we're just gonna remove this completely and put in a bigger diameter hose. All we need to clear is by about a, a quarter to a half inch bigger. And you can see we have the space for it in here. So we're just gonna open up the, open this up. And that way we can take our, our hoses and store them in. And then, you know, I, I've seen some other people do some cool stuff for fishing poles or, or whatever you want just to use this as a storage area. So that's the story on that. Over here is the battery compartment. Right now, this is the way it came. We just have a conventional battery. It's not even a deep cycle battery. Uh, we've been using this compartment as well just for some uh, extension cords and our uh, power adapters. And what we plan on getting is solar power. We're going to put some solar up top. We haven't figured out to what extent and how robust we want to make our system, but this is where we're going to put the, the lithium batteries, of course. Now, some people have done away, they've done such a robust solar system, they've done away completely with the generator. We, we like it, and we're going we're to keep the generator. It's a Cummings Onan uh, 2500 generator. It's been working great for us, and it's, it's just nice to have. So I think even when we do the solar, we're going to keep this as a, uh, a backup if needed. External shower, which we need to get cleaned up from the previous owners there. And in here, we have the, the gray uh, dump tank. You have two external power outlets, 110s. This is for uh, your jacks. So um, I don't think we have, oh, there we go. This is for if you're gonna raise or lower the electronic jacks, it helps kind of wake it up there. Uh, this is your switch for cable TV. If you went to an RV site and you had an external hookup as well. And then there's some storage here off to the side. So we'll, we'll tighten up as we, we move forward figure out what we want to keep in there. This is your black tank. You have it locked at the moment. And of course, you always want to empty your, your black tank first and then empty your, your gray. So there's the, the black right here. This comes off and then you would release. Uh, and then some extra storage there. And uh, there's the black, and then here, here's the, um, the pipe for the gray while we're, while we're showing all this stuff right there. Uh, and then lastly on this side, we have, uh, that's where your, your 30 amp power adapter. Now this isn't your typical pattern on this one, on this 2015 Host Mammoth. There's usually a uh, rounded uh, ground wire, so just make sure that you have the right adapter. Uh, when we did our shakeout back in Virginia Beach, it took us a little bit to figure it out, but now that we have it, we're all, we're all set. Nice big window here. Have the awning. Uh, ours is stripped off. We have brand new awnings from Carefree. They helped us out, uh, gave us a pretty good discount on that. So thank you so much for supporting the nonprofit Carefree. We really do appreciate that. We're going to do an install video. We got brand new toppers all around. Here's the, uh, the fast gun here. Just a note, when we're fueling up, it hits. Now, you saw me take it off on the other side. It only takes just a minute to do it, so every time we fuel up, we just gotta pop that off. And I always uh, put in a spot where we know who knows it's gonna be so we don't forget it on the way out. Coming up, a lot of nice clearance. So Ford has a, uh, a higher cab than uh, Dodge does, from my observations. So um, when you look at the, the host campers with the, with the Dodges, it ends up being like a lot of room in between. But this is still sufficient, you know, and, and the camper does sway back and forth, but we haven't had any issues with any, any rubbing. So cap up front, we're all set there. A 
And here's our, uh, our gravity feed. Yeah. It's just right there for water. And you put the water in, and then this is your overflow valve. So as it fills up, it'll come out. We've gotten a RV uh, water filter. So every time we're filling up, we have the water filtered. So it's, it's you know, even though it's potable water, it's making it that much cleaner for drinking, and we, we like that. Outside speakers for rocking out. These are your vents right here for, uh, for your, your fridge. All right. And then we have our, uh, well, here's our crack that we, we just did freshly about two hours ago. We made the mistake not watching, not watching our uh, end clearance and uh, this ended up hitting and as we're going up a, a slight grade it basically torqued it back and, and ripped that so uh, we're going to look to replace this entire lower panel where uh, we'll contact host on that for the steps they just roll out and then this part you have to lift up a little bit and there you go uh, i was kind of surprised well i guess this was on the east coast it's not terribly rusted, but a little bit worn. So I think I'm gonna, we're gonna remove these, sand it down, and, uh, and repaint them. Uh, and then, coming back again, uh, there is an external ladder here for, uh, for accessing up top. And it just has this little notch, and it just holds by pressure up against the door, in case you need to go up top, take all the leaves off your, your toppers or the roof before you start bringing it in, because you don't have a lot of moisture on top. We want to keep the inside as dry as possible. All right, so let's uh, we'll head on in. Well, we'll show. Uh, let's open up the slide. So here's the control panel. It gives you a light for nighttime to kind of see what you're doing right here to pop that on and off. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll do this pasture side one right here. Coming on out. And the host mammoth is I, I think the only truck camper that's a triple slide. There's a lot of doubles out there. Uh, then we'll do the rear after I slide this back in. Just make sure we're good. Love that garage. All right, we're gonna do the, the driver's side. All right, come on in.